welcome to another episode of the next 48 hours. I'm Liesl van Avestezen. And I'm Nicole Biondi. And this evening we've got another jam-packed, proudly Cape Tonian show just for you. We'll be interviewing loads of interesting people, bringing you the latest in what's hot and happening in Cape Town, and our very favorite, giving away yet another phenomenal prize. So what you need to do is you need to just sit back, relax, grab your cell phones, make sure you're on Twitter and Facebook, and enjoy what the next couple of minutes have in offer for you. Stay right where you are. This is the next 48 hours. Next up, we have one of South Africa's theatre legends, and Liesl gets to talk to him. A very warm welcome to another episode of the next 48 hours. Now, today we're joined by a man who has walked away with numerous international and national theatre awards. He's also spent some time in Las Vegas with Cirque du Soleil, and he calls Grahamstown home. Andrew Buckland, welcome to the next 48 hours. Thanks, Great to have you in Cape Town. It's been a while since you've been here with an, a new piece of work. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, I've been t uh, teaching at Rhodes for quite a while, so that's taken up most of the time. So it's a real treat now to be able to get back on the stage and play. Now, what have you brought to the stage to play with? <laughs> it's a show called Laugh the Buffalo, um, and it was, it's developed really from um, scratch, from the middle of this year, where I just had a chance to go into a studio and start making work, and in a way return to the kind of really early days of, of making work, basing work on... Um, on physical exercise, starting with the body and seeing what comes out. And out has come this curious tale of this idiot, really, <laughs> who has a desperate uh, fantasy about being a secret agent. Um, and recently, during the rehearsal period, I went on a 10-day meditation, silent meditation course. And the whole idea of silence and of speaking and of the difference between speaking and silence and holding secrets seemed to resonate with a lot of political things that are going on. Um, and I'm often drawn to the idea of finding ways to look at questions like that through laughter rather than through, you know, being serious about it. Now, how long does it take you to put a piece of work together like that? Um, the, it varies, you know, it depends on the needs. Normally what I'd need, like anybody, I guess, is have a deadline, you know, because I've got to have it ready by then. Uh, and then my wife, Janet, and I work in a kind of cyclical mode that I'll create work. She'll look at it, destroy it, and put it back together again. Um, so it's, it's, this one has taken, I suppose, about um, two, three months, but it can happen in three weeks if, if everything's in place. Now, opening night was last week and Cape Tonians loved it. Do you expect, did you expect a response like you got from, from the Cape Tonians? No, I didn't know what to expect, you know, and, and the show is slightly different in that it's much more playful in the moment. There's much more of the clown, you know, and playing with the idea of the idiot. Um, and I, I was very, uh, very pleasantly surprised. So I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, that that's going to continue. <laughs> and you were also lucky enough to spend some time in Las Vegas with Cirque du Soleil. What was that experience like? I was, in fact, with a, a resident show in Las Vegas. And they, they, they had, when I arrived there, they had seven resident shows in the hotels there. It's like they've taken Las Vegas over. All the, the, the regulars, Bet Midler and their shows, they'd have standard jokes about damn French Canadians taking over, you know. <laughs> but that was really an extraordinary, extraordinary time. And I was very lucky. My son Daniel was also cast in the same show, so we were there together. It was great. And was it, would, would it be something you'd revisit later on? Or are you going to yeah. call Cape Town or South Africa home? For another no, couple of years. No. I was, I was, uh, they work in yearly contracts there, so I was happy to go there for a year. But certainly the plan was always to be back here. And it's a very different kind of work, you know, it was grueling, it's two shows a night, five nights a week, month after month. But they treat their performers really, really well. And it was a really exciting experience um, all over. But uh, home's, home's where I want to be. And do you have any advice for young upcoming actors? Um, I was very fortunate to have amazing teachers when I was training, you know. Um, and it was only after I left and started to work with a musician who, he, he, as he would say, if he doesn't train for eight, practice for eight hours a day, he can't hope to compete. And it was only working with him that I realized that as a student, or um, I had, I'd been given the skills on how to train myself. And it was only when I kind of took responsibility for that once I'd left the, the school, and on a day-to-day -day basis started to, to, or to continue that training, to work on vocal technique and physical, and to remember the notion that your body 
is in fact the only thing that you have. You might think you have a watch and a hairstyle, but you know, your body is all you've got in the world and out. And it's the thing that's going to make whatever you do worthwhile or not, you know, so look after your body. Well, Andrew, it's great to welcome you in Cape Town. How long is Laugh the Buffalo running for? We run until the end of November. There we go. So you don't want to miss out. You've got to get to watch it. It's running till the end of November. It was really great chatting to you and we thank hope you. to see you again soon. Yeah, thank you. Now stay right where you are. You tuned in to the next 48 hours. This evening's entertainment. It's time to make my move. This is the next 48 hours on DSTV. And if you're an art lover, come a little bit closer. There's an incredible event that was taking place in Cape Town this past weekend. 25 to 27 October saw the inaugural Cape Town Art Fair taking place at the VA waterfront. And of course, the next 48 hours team was there to capture the experience. Take a look. Hi everyone, I'd like to introduce Gunter Komnik, uh, recently published his latest book on Cape Town memoirs of the 60s and the book was inspired uh, by a visit when I first met Gunter who showed me a box full of magical pictures and said this should be a book and eventually after a few years the book was born, published and here it is today and it's uh, selling like hotcakes. Gunter? What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> In fact, just to say a little more about the pictures is that they were shot when Gunter first came to Cape Town from the 58 to the early 60s. So it was a very uh, memorable time and street life in Cape Town as maybe some people remember and some have never seen. So it's a great treasure. Well, it's that time of the show where we ask you to grab your cell phones, get your Twitter handle ready because we are going to be giving a phenomenal prize away. 
It's the Summer of Champions prize. And this is something you want to win. What does the prize involve? So first of all, the Summer of Champions is a racehorse event that has started at the Kenilworth Racehorse. And there are going to be lots of fabulous race days coming up over the next couple of months. So the prize. One lucky couple gets to walk away with two tickets to one of those fabulous race days and it includes parking, a meal, as well as a bottle of wine. I think it's an incredible prize. Now what you need to do is you need to hashtag Summer of Champions and tweet us at 48 Hours TV. Super easy, 48 Hours TV and your name goes into the draw to win that lucky prize. Hashtag Summer of Champions and we could be seeing you at a day at the races. Don't you forget about me. One of the greatest rock bands ever, Simple Minds, will be live in South Africa. Johannesburg on 1 and 2 November, Cape Town 3 November. Don't miss Simple Minds Greatest Hits Tour. Book now at Copy Ticket. Now next up, Nicole is going to be getting super fit for summer, finding out about a new form of exercise, taking the world by storm. Over to you, Nicole. On Saturday, the 2nd of November, at Rhodes High School in Mowbray, an attempt is going to be made to break a world record. Doing what? Doing Zumba. Mm -hmm. Zumba dancing. The event is entitled Zumbathon for a Cause. And with us today in studio, we have Monique Ford, one of the fitness instructors, Zumba instructors, who's going to tell us a little bit more. Welcome. Thanks, Nicole. So, Monique, mm, let's start off by talking about what exactly is Zumba. Well, Zumba is absolutely an incredible form of fitness that's just hit South Africa by storm. It's been here for the last five years and it's getting much more popular as time goes by. But it's the only way to have fun because you can dance, it's easy and it's inspired by lots of salsa and Latin moves. Mm, the easy bit remains to be seen. <laughs> now the event is called Zumbathon for a cause, so I'm assuming that there's a good cause behind us. Absolutely. And this is something that we're doing really for in terms of creating awareness for abuse, um, domestic violence and also rape victims. And that goes across women, men and little kids as well. Okay, so how do people get involved? Well, it's awesome. We've been advertising on Facebook um, and also go to your nearest compute ticket because that's where it's all happening to book as well as following your favorite instructor. And then what happens is you can actually book with one of us and get discounted rates. Okay, favorite instructor. So is this a sort of idols voting oh, thing? Are you going, indeed. vote for Monique as your favorite Zumba instructor? Indeed, <laughs> we have got 22 phenomenal instructors in Cape Town who's going to take that stage by storm and we're attempting to break the world record. So how many people do you need? 22 instructors, how many people participating? Well, in India, they got 6,671 guys together and that is the Guinness World Book of Records. So we want 7,000 plus. That is going to be amazing. Okay, so for someone like me, who is, uh, let's just call it rhythmically challenged, how easy is it going to be to participate? Well, if you see some of the people that will be attending, it's also um, disabled and we're going to raise funds for amputees. So if they can do it, it's going to be simple because we're going to involve everybody. Okay, and how will it work? I mean, what time does it start? How long will people actually be zumba in for? Oh, <laughs> so in terms of the Guinness World Record, it starts at 10 o'clock, right, for 90 minutes. So it's got to be easy because we have to keep everybody moving for the complete 90 minutes. Okay. And Zumba regulations are really, really strict, so we can't have guys stopping for more than two minutes. Okay, so 90 minutes of Zumba. What should people wear? Something really easy, um, you know, shorts, t-shirts, something that you're really comfortable with, but we're really going to make it really easy for them. Okay, so that's 10 o'clock, Saturday, 2nd of November, only 90 minutes, people. What's 90 minutes? If I can do it? you can do it. So talking about doing Zumba, um, how about giving me a bit of a demo? Absolutely, when you're ready, I'm ready. So let's try out some new steps. Don't know if I'm ready, but let's do it. I am so ready to get my Zumba on. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so let's do this. So just march. And this is how simple it's gonna be. Alright, let's see you do it, Nicole. Yep. So you say, Monique, so you say. <laughs> okay, right, this so is all the end. It. Wait for it. Four marches on the spot. And tap it out. You got it. You see, I said it was easy. Tap. Four marches. Oh, I forgot to march. It's okay. Yep. There we go. So we're gonna go side to side, just nice and thick. Oh, you got it. Good rhythm. Yep. You got it. Again. So let's see how it's really done with the boys with some energy. Show them, guys. is the theme for the 19th Cape Town International Kite Festival, Africa's biggest kite festival, which is proudly hosted by Cape Mental Health and will take place in Musenberg on the 2nd and 3rd of November 2013. This is the next 48 Hours TV on DSTV and the show has been featuring some really great things happening in and around Cape Town. Now this past weekend saw the audition for the new season of Big Brother. Ooh, I think it was it 10 years ago that Big Brother South Africa was last on our streams. Now listen, remember Ferdinand Rabi? How could I forget? A guy named Richard won the following season. That's all I remember of his surname. And then I got a chance to spend some time in the Big Brother Africa house. I got to spend 48 hours in the house. And of listen, course 48 hours. Only 48 hours. How <laughs> awesome is that? It was a couple of years ago and I spent it with a whole lot of journalists. We had so much fun but you weren't allowed to bring in anything. It was like being on the actual show. They checked your luggage, they checked everything, no cell phones, no cameras, no form of communication with the outside world. But uh, I got a chance to speak to Big Brother and be in the, the diary in the room. Booth. Yes, the diary room. But now listen, I think contestants have to be in there, well, if they make it anyway, for 90 days. That is a very long time. What do you do for 90 days to keep things interesting? Well, that's the whole point. They keep you entertained. No, they keep us entertained, mm -hmm. but I mean, I think it's really hard to come up with exciting things to do. Well, listen, I took in a sock puppet <laughs> and I kept doing puppet shows for the camera. <laughs> so those are the things you can do. But you know what? Our cameras caught all the action at the Cape Town round of auditions for Big Brother. Let's take a look at what went down.
We're at the Big Brother auditions in Cape Town. I'm Tashi Tag, and I'm here to see who was crazy enough to come and audition for the show. It's been 10 years since Big Brother's been in South Africa, actually more, almost 12 years. So this is like quite a big deal. Who's here? Who's interesting? Of course, they have to be interesting if they're going to be in the house. So we decided we're going to find out who's the most interesting from one to five, one being not, five being hot. Let's go. Here with Tulani in the foyer of the Big Brother auditions. Tulani, you've come to the auditions. You obviously think you're very interesting because you have to be in a house with nothing. So could you please be interesting for us? Uh, what makes you so interesting? Uh, okay, what makes you more interesting than anybody else who's auditioned? Uh, for you to see interesting Tolani, I guess you have to tune into the show. But uh, what I can share with you is that I'm a very interesting individual. You do know you have to stay in the house and entertain people for yes. a very long time. That's what I'm here for. Okay. Uh, ah, okay, <laughs> so you say that. So now yeah. I'm going to ask you a question. Sure. Be interesting. But I am interesting. I need a question. <laughs> How question? are you interesting? Um, inter I'm out there, you know, I'm to talk to people, you know, I'm, uh, I'm a person that I was born to, to do this. I don't know what it is, you know. I'm 36 now, so it's, I think it's time, you know. What will make you more interesting than any of the other people who've auditioned? Um, uh, what makes me more interesting is, whoa. <laughs> oh, put on the brakes then, don't <laughs> like, <be> like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interesting already. You Okay, so now you've, you've made it through to the next round, which means you're vaguely interesting. What are you, what makes you super interesting? Be interesting. I'm hot, I think, and I'm just out there um, myself. I can go crazy. I think that's why the guy liked me, and I'm just me. Whatever happens, depending on the, obviously, the atmosphere and the people I'm with, whatever happens, I'm, I'll go with it. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the hottest, what would you rate yourself? 15. People will probably watch because I love taking showers and I sleep naked all the time. So people are always saying, what the heck are you doing? You're looking more and more impressive every moment, yeah. Lexi. Okay, so SK wants to be a housemate for however many days he's going to have to stay in the house, which means he's going to have to be super interesting because there's nothing to do in the house. So SK, we need to ask you, please, can you be interesting? <laughs> Oh my gosh, like I'm very loud guys and I mm -hmm. can dance, I can sing, I can do whatever. So I think people are going to just enjoy seeing SK. It's for three months, by the way, you know, three months we're playing games in the house, you know, getting booze, getting drunk. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not going to be like that. But we're getting, you know, we're just having good time, you know, having sex, whatever. Oh. Yeah, you know, it's showbiz, you need to sell sex sometimes, you know. <laughs> so I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that, like seriously. Kangi, hi. Hi. Um, what do you do as an occupation? I work at Showbright as a stock counting clerk. Yes. I do labels. I yes. take out waste. I push trolleys as well. Mm -hmm. And I assist customers. Yes. What do you think is the most interesting thing about you that will get you onto the show? I've got a great sense of humor. Do you want to see? I've yes. I've, I've, Be I've, interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Do 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 do. I'm changing, ne? Oh, what you changing? To Kanye Fierce. Do you want to see Kanye Fierce? Yes! <laughs> yes, how are you doing? I'm good, Kanye Fierce. Thank yeah, you. I'm, I'm very fine. good. Okay. So are you, is Kanye Fierce auditioning to be in the Big Brother house? Both of them. Both? Kanye and Kanye Fierce, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and can, tell us more about Kanye Fierce. Uh, Kanye Fierce is a straightforward person. Mm -hmm. mm. She, she's beautiful, you can see. <laughs> yes, those mm -hmm. teeth. Those teeth are really perfect. Do you want to kiss me? <laughs> <laughs> so that's our countdown from worst to best. Let's see who makes it into the house in February 2014. Who's going to win that million rand? From me, Tashi Tag at TVSA. Cheers. Well, it was really great keeping you company this week and we look forward to you joining us next week, same time, same place. See you then.